Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. If you're like me, you probably feel that Topaz Labs Denoise AI is the best noise reduction software made. But if you're also like me, you probably never considered sending lower ISO images into it. You just saved it for use with your relatively high ISO images. Even previous videos I've done on it. I did one video where the image was an ISO of 6,400. Another video, the ISO of the image was 12,800. And of course, it did a fantastic job on those images. Well, yesterday I was looking at some older butterfly images I took. And all of these are at relatively low ISO. Um, as a matter of fact, this image here is the highest ISO of the bunch. It was an ISO of 800. And really, even at ISO of 800, I would never consider taking the time to send it into Denoise. I'd just use the detail tab of Lightroom, luminance noise reduction there, and call it a day. Well, yesterday for fun, I sent it over into to Denoise to see how it would do on an image that really isn't exhibiting a lot of noise. And I was astounded. Um, really, I was cheating myself. Um, not only does Denoise obliterate the little bit of noise and ISO 100, ISO of 2, 4, 8, those lower ISOs. Not only does it obliterate it, but it really enhances the detail in the image, especially on these butterflies. And I really was cheating myself. So I'm going to show you on this image and then I'll show you on another image that's an ISO 100. But I'm going to auto detect settings first. So I'm just going to click that little box right there. We'll get it positioned where I want it. And we're going to click update. And they're full resolution uh, raw files. So on my slower computer, the generate preview will take a little bit. I am zoomed in at 100%. Um, obviously, you can't see the whole butterfly. At the end of the video, I'll flash some slides of the actual images of the butter butterflies so you get an idea of what they actually look, at, look like. Also, in the description below the video, I'll have links uh, to the product on Topaz Labs website. And I have a discount code as well. It will be listed there. Two. All right, it's done. And you could probably see right away how much better it is. I mean, look right in here. Uh, there's the before denoise, and there's after denoise. Before denoise, after denoise. If you look over at here where the noise, you, the noise was more visible, there's before. So you could see just a tiny bit of noise, and it got rid of it completely. But the detail is what I'm talking about. There's before there's after. There's before, there's after. I really, I really was surprised because a lot of times if you sharpen and you get it a little bit too sharp, it doesn't look right. It looks unnatural. That looks totally natural. There's before and there's after. Amazing. Now here's another image I'm going to go to of a different butterfly. And I'll position it over here. And again, this is a full resolution um, raw file. There's no processing was were done to either of these um, as, as it is now. Um, so what you're seeing is just the unprocessed raw file. And I'm, again, just going to auto detect settings. And I probably could even make these even better if I uh, just started with auto detect and then started moving the sharpen uh, slider or the remove noise slider or even the recover original detail sliders around. If there was any color noise, I, of course, would use this slider down here. But I'm just auto-detecting and going from there. And we're going to click Update. And we'll see what it does on this ISO 100 image. So this uh, image, you know, really virtually had no noise at all. I mean, just a tiny, tiny bit. Um, this was shot, by the way, this one was shot with a Nikon D800E. And the previous image was shot with a Nikon D500. So the D800E is like a 40-odd metapixel camera. And I don't remember what the D500 is. It's considerably less. Uh, but anyway, here we are here. And we'll go before, after. There's before and there's after. And if you look like right in here at the fine hairs on this butterfly, there's before, after, before, after. I mean, amazing in the head area here, before, after. So um, I'm going to change my workflow and start using Denoise a lot more on images that I really want to show off the detail, uh, even if they were shot at extremely low ISOs. 
comparatively speaking, I mean, again, in those previous videos, 6,400 and 12,800, I consider to be very high ISOs. And uh, typically, like, let's, if I'm shooting um, wildlife, I'm, I use like uh, manual mode with auto ISO. So sometimes my ISO could really jump way up there, but other times it would be really very low. And, um, you know, still, I think I, I could get a better image overall if I remove that noise in Denoise AI, no matter what the ISO is. So again, just wanted to share that with you because I was really surprised when I was playing around with these butterfly images yesterday. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>